It's it's an extreme honor, you know. It's uh, I'm a fan of superheroes, um, and there's not a lot of us out there. And not uh, a lot of there's not a lot of black superheroes out there, and um, so I'm like extremely honored to do it. It's also a dream come true of mine that I didn't think was going to come true at this point. So uh, I can check it off the bucket list. I can't wait. I can't wait. Who is he in your mind? I mean, obviously, you get the surface of who the character is. Yeah. In your mind, as a man, as a person, as a hero, who is this guy in your mind? He's kind of like two personalities, you know what I mean? Um, Jefferson Pierce is, is like Martin Luther King Jr. And then you have the Black Lightning, you get Malcolm X, you know? And he's um, a family man. I mean, family is first. Uh, I think even as Black Lightning, he believes that, he truly believes that education is the way for change. But the reality is sometimes you need a little muscle, you know, and, uh, you need a little grit to go with the gravy. So um, he's, he's kind of a, a dual purpose man. Yeah. In this. Is that about the family dynamic? Because that seems to set him apart yes. from the other superheroes because he's got a family, a family like kids and. Love yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what, that's what separates the show. Is that you know we're we're uh, based in a real city, and we're kind of based in real life things. And so, you know, ultimately he he actually hung up the suit for his family um, to keep his family together. Um, and it's kind of ironic that nine years later uh, he winds up putting the suit back on for his family. Uh, so, um, family is a central part of it. It's like I, I say, it's like a family drama with superpowers on top. And will you see a temptation as far as as the series goes on? Now that he's gotten to experience life of having the quiet life outside of being a hero, to kind of put the suit back away, or just the kind of struggle? Um, I don't think so. I think once the once the cat is out of the bag, it's like kind of it's going to be hard to put it back. I think that the the struggle is going to be you know. Uh, his ex-wife Lynn, he he wants to get back, and um, so he's now putting the suit back on, and that's really going to be a stumbling block for any hope of their their marriage. So, um, I don't know if he's going to hide it, or um, how she's going to find out. His daughters don't even know how's that going to play out. Um, I'm excited. How does it feel to be a part of the Berlanti verse now? Like, you, there's five shows. Yeah, I know, right? It's amazing. Yeah, it's. I mean, it, it's. When you're going to do a superhero show, this is who, this is who you want to be uh, a part of. So I mean, it's the best of both worlds to be with Berlanti and then be with the Akios is the best of both worlds. Yeah. On, a, on a practical level, what's a training regimen been like for you? It's been well, it's been a, an increase of what I normally do. I, uh, so like I would normally work out let's say five days a week, probably a couple hours a day. And I'll work out five or six days a week, probably about three hours a day. Um, and then in addition, working at as much fight training as I can. So it's been an increase. But um, it's been my job. I actually like, it's kind of weird, I like working out. Um, and so now I also get to say, well, it's my job, so leave me alone and let me work out. <laughs> Um, it's possible. There's not. It hasn't really been talked about that uh, right now. I and mean, as it stands, we're not in the uh, in the uh, same universe. Um, and our our main focus, uh, at least initially, is to develop uh, our characters um, to to get the audience familiar with our characters. You know, because we have a really dense show. We have. Uh, Myself, that audiences aren't really familiar with yet, and then you have the daughters who are going to develop their own powers, and the audiences aren't familiar with them yet. So we really want to get everybody into to those characters and this dynamic, and then something like that can happen down the line. Within the universe as it stands now, yeah. does Black Lightning know of other superheroes? Yeah, I think I, I believe he does. I mean, the thing is, I, I, and I only I only know from really the original comics, where what it was, it seemed like that the, the other superheroes had was like bigger fish to fry. They were like always saving the world, right? And here's a small like community that nobody goes goes into, you know? And so uh, I think they're in the universe and we're aware, aware of them, but, but nobody's coming down to the grassroots community to like help. And so that's where he steps in. Thank you. Thank you.